Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to Montreal Rides. Today's Monday and tomorrow my parents are picking up my fake scooter to bring it to their garage so that I can stop renting the storage locker. Save $150 a month, actually every four weeks, which is 13 months a year. So, as I do that, I'm gonna talk a bit. It's been a while since I've seen it. Let's take it out for a bit. Oops. There you go. Let's take a better look at it. There you go. I'm gonna miss it. But, oh well. So I'm making sure that some of my stuff from my locker is actually back at my place. And that everything that I need to go with the ride stays here until tomorrow. So in this bag I brought the original seat which you can see the difference much smaller much thinner got the rack in there got the charger as well instruction manual and i have the extra battery which i'm going to switch right now Turn it off. It is off. I am not going to plug it in because I don't need to. Yeah, that makes sense. Oops. There you go. And inside the spare compartment, put in the spare battery. I'll leave that key in there. I'll leave this key in there as well. And the rest of my stuff is my bike pump, my scooter cover, which I'm keeping. So I'm gonna take this out. bike pump. Just have a bunch of other stuff in here. Toolkit. A heavy lift, which I'm going to do on a second trip. Uh, oh, is this has to do with this, with my UQI Plus, so I might as well include that in the bag. As well as the original phone mount. And the original mirrors I first had before someone stole it and broke one of them and then gave me a spare that doesn't even match the shape. Anyways, that's a whole other story. Put that in there. There you go. I have a little bench for working on it. I have some frames. Instead of keeping it at home, I kept it here just to be out of the way. Uh, I do have the original little rack that used to go here but then I bought the box so the rack's gonna go in here with the screws and bolts let's see what else is in here empty 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 So I'm pretty much done on this side. So I'll give some quick details about what's going on with the laws. First of all, it's not a law. It's a ministerial order. So it's like a dictator style order from the Minister of Transportation and uh, Mobility. Uh, so this order is good for 180 days, at which point it needs to be renewed. 
uh, the minister reserves the rights to make it renewable indefinitely, but it's not a law per se. When something is a law, they have to study it. They have to have a commission. They have to have witnesses come in, experts, about on both sides of the uh, of the equation to see what's what, to see basically what's the best way of doing the law. And that's what they did not do in this case. But apart from that, I'm gonna look up quickly something on my phone. I'll skip it forward for you guys. Okay, so here's the thing, the engineering firm that's the dealership that I would that I'm with um, uses. Uh, so they they use that engineering firm to ensure the Transport Canada compliance of our products, uh, other products such as the MQI and the NQI series or the Segway E110A. So that firm has contacted the SAAQ on behalf of that store and on behalf of other importers and dealers. We're still waiting to hear from them, but they're trying to make it work to see if we can authorize this model, the UQI Plus, and other brands and models of uh, fake electric scooters to see if there's a way to register it, plate it, authorize it, ensure it, and make it okay to ride on public roads. Now, there's no guarantee that the SAQ will approve, but people are working on it to make it happen. So it's not all lost for now. Um, now, here's the fun part. The MQI, M, is a smaller version of, of, it's like a bigger version of this scooter that can go 42 kilometers an hour. This one can go 32. And it uses the same batteries. So if you have a UQI Plus and you're stuck with, with everything, you could sell the battery to someone who has an MQI Plus. That's pretty useful. I, I have two batteries and I had just bought an extended range battery for $2,500 with less than 10 uses on it, 10 charges. Um, so I could probably find someone that has an MQI Plus. Now, currently at the store that I'm with, they don't have the MQI Plus in stock because nobody was buying it. Why? Because you did not need a license for this one. So they sacrificed 10 kilometers an hour to have something that costs less. So what they're doing is, because they know that the MQI Plus is street legal and uses the same battery, they're restocking so that for the next spring, spring 2025, they'll have a lot of MQI Plus in stock. At that point, if they still haven't resolved anything with this model, I'll be trying to sell my batteries uh, to an owner of an MQI Plus. Here's an example of the MQI Plus. It looks like a normal MQI scooter, but it's slower and has less range. I hope you guys can actually see that. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen as an image apart. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I don't know if I'll have a video next week. Maybe. It won't be about a ride, per se. Um, tomorrow night, I have my theoretical class online for the, for the scooter license, the Class 60. And... Two weeks after that, or three weeks after that, I have my uh, practical uh, class with evaluation for the uh, for the scooter, which I hope I will be able to record. I'll be asking the teacher on location if I'm able to do it and see if he allows it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, he does. Um, and then as soon as I get that evaluation done, I sign up with the SAAQ to register to, to pass the test with them, the official test. As soon as I have the paper that says I have a license, that afternoon or the next day, I'm going to buy my NQI GTS Pro full-fledged scooter. So it's coming soon, within a month, hopefully, maybe a month and a half, two months, I'll be ready. Now I just have to look for some winter tires for the new model, 
so I can continue writing during the winter and continue making videos for you guys. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more. Je vous souhaite une bonne semaine. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.